difference. You know, these, these videos don't have to be perfect. It's called reality. Yeah, reality. It's documenting reality. So yeah. we, don't, we don't have to be movie stars or perfect. Yeah. If we stutter or sweat or get nervous, so yeah. that's normal. It doesn't yeah, that's matter. Normal. I always say, every day in the land of new, I have got a lottery ticket. And this lottery ticket can make a fortune. You know, it's just, a, I'm just a very, very good at generating opportunities. And I don't know whether the next phone call is gonna be for a loft conversion, or the next phone call is gonna to be to build nine houses in Kingston. I don't know. But all I know is very exciting. Not one day is the same. And uh, I just get excited about what could happen today. My tips, depending on budget, obviously, if it hasn't got a basement, build a basement. You know, that is gonna be the one thing which is gonna add a million quid to your house in Fulham, two million in Chelsea, three million in Belgravia for building a, a thousand square foot basement. If it's not the basement, then the side return, loft conversion, pod room. If it's none of those, great interior design. You know, making sure the kitchen's lo lovely, the bedrooms are nice, the en suites, the internal layouts. These are all things that add value to your property. Adding square footage or adding value through design. They're my two top tips for creating extra revenue on your house. So branding. Branding and marketing is very, very important for new. Um, and that's what I think about more than anything. Brand awareness, marketing and sales. That's what makes us different because uh, other contractors, other builders, other interior designers will not be hitting it as hard as what we do. Knowledge is really target that market. Listen, I, I, I believe in every, every bit of marketing works, whether it's flyers, whether it's magazines, whether it's TV, whether it's anything, but it's, it, it's making the marketing work for the budget you have. Yeah, absolutely. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. If, if, if I could go and do, you know, I, I, I wouldn't mind putting 10,000 flyers out in Fulham and Chelsea this week, you know, but it's quite, it's quite expensive because you've got to print the flyers, then you've got to get the company to go and deliver them. So you could, could be talking, you know, a grand just to get 10,000 flyers out. Yeah. You know, which is, is, is hassle, but I know it works. But out of that 10,000 flyers, we may get three people actually phone up but again it's brand a brand awareness isn't it it's just that that document going out and someone picking it up and showing an interest but no i do yeah. believe everything works so nothing is nothing I, you know i'm open to listening to anything i like getting my i like to get stuck into like deals where it may never happen but it's like a lottery ticket if you if you don't dabble in dream deals someone else will and if it comes off they win if i'm doing it i've got a chance it may be one in a thousand one in two thousand one in ten thousand but you know um one of these dreams may happen and we may land a big uh real estate transaction which then we have huge fees and maybe we can be a part of that and uh, do the design and build so yeah Lots going on, lots of exciting things going on. There'd be architects out there, there'd be businesses out there, there'd be end users out there thinking, oh, do you know what, we, we, need, a, we need a good uh, interior design company or we need a construction company. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's timing. Mm -hmm. It's them thinking that this morning and then you phone them up. Yeah. All the stars align <laughs> and magic happens. What kind of strategy we should use during this time? Well, the strategy is now, if you've got money to invest, it, the time is to, to invest now. Because where everyone is panicking, you know, maybe there's ha people in <laughs> Fulham and Chelsea and all that, they want to sell because they want to move in it, they, they want to get out quick. And the normal buyers in the UK, 
they're, they're having problems getting the mortgages or maybe timing's not right. So there's an opportunity for developers and investors to come in really quickly and be aggressive and off put, put deals on the table. And maybe, you know, if I went into every estate agent in uh, Fulham and we bid on 10 deals today, and those 10 deals we come in at 30% less than market value, I guarantee one of those people, okay, we'll do it anyway, just to get a quick sale. Fire sale. Fire sale, panicking, nervous, worried. And then we want to go in, we want to find unmodernized properties where we can add the value through the basements, through the loft conversions, through the pod rooms, through design and the branding. And then we can put it back on the market, fresh, and make a quick sale. Buy off market. Or, most of these buy off market, it's a good strategy to have a look everywhere. Because, it, you know, all the, it doesn't matter if it's off market, on market, in the auction, or someone you know. If it's a deal, yeah. who cares where it comes from? You know, who cares where it comes from? If, if it's on the market with the Savills or the agents and uh, it's been on there six months, okay, okay, it's been on there six months, let's offer them 30% market below market value and let's offer them a quick exchange, quick quick completion, and um, and it's all about performance. So once, when because we've got such a good reputation, when the uh, estate agents call us, Nick, we've got a deal, because they know we can exchange and can complete quickly, yeah we're going to get all the best deals. So we don't have to go looking, they're coming to us. Right, right. So uh, the investor, do they use uh, bridge loans to do it? Or they just do all cash? All cash. Okay. Yeah, so the, the investors we're using at the moment, they're high net worths or groups of people, yep. right? And it's, it's almost, it's nice to have um, like a war chest. So if we had, say, a combined million quid, we know what the money's there. I can say, right, we've got two deals. We've got, we've got a Holyport Road and we've got a Woodlawn. Well, if we can really work these and we can get them for the right money, we can probably get two for the million. And then really, you know, work value engineer the construction, because obviously we can do all the construction in-house, all the architecture in-house, all the interior design in-house. So the overheads are quite low and then get them back on the market. Or even there's there's opportunities where you can buy a holy port or woodlawn, get the planning approval, and flip it on without ever doing any work. Because a developer, our competition, would love that. So it's all about deals, isn't it? It's all about knowledge and deals and getting the best facilities.